Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to another video. I know I said I'd be doing the Spider-Man review next, and I just let you know the Spider-Man review is in the making, and I will be working. I'll be getting that. That I'll be uploading that very soon. But I want today. We're today joining me for this video is Razor Blade eighteen twelve. Hello, Toby. Um, this is a video we we planned to do um about last week, but Toby here was 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 sick with a cold, so we had to delay it. But Toby here is all is all better and ready and ready to go. But this is actually going to be a discussion video here on the on the PlayStation Classic that that they announced last week and. Those of you don't know what the PlayStation Classic is, it is it is a smaller mini version of the or the original PlayStation. And my thoughts on this thing is, I'm sure people are thinking that I'm excited for this thing because, like you know, it's Sony, it's stuff about the PlayStation One and stuff like that. But the truth is, the thing is, I really don't 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 really I, I don't see a point in getting this thing because it's basically an emulator that you can buy in the store for a hundred dollars and that's basically what it is and there's only 20 games announced for it right now I mean only five of them are known that of course being Final Fantasy 7 Wild Arms Jumping Flash and the two Namco games that I still played in my childhood that being Tekken 3 and Rich Racer Type 4 yeah I mean like it's got it's got a bunch it's got like I I own almost all I own most of those games already on my original PlayStation, so I really don't see a point in even having to buy that thing. I mean, I'm not bashing Sony here because like Sony was just trying to do do something a little different to bring back the classic days of the PlayStation and stuff, but I just don't really see a point in buying this thing. I mean, sure it's got HDMI and stuff like that and such to make the, to make the games like a 1080p. But games like this were never meant to be in HDMI or 1080p and stuff like that because HDMI was not known at the time and stuff. So I just I just don't really see a point in buying this thing. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's just basically an emulator that sold for a hundred dollars, and a hundred dollars, in my opinion, is a little too much for this thing. Maybe if it was like forty bucks or something like that, or so, or fifty bucks, I'd probably it probably would be kind of kind of considered something to like play for like a weekend or something like that. But I really just don't don't want to get it. Do you got anything to say about this PlayStation Classic? Well, I don't uh, want to get it either. I mean, the thing is, I'm gonna predict that this game is going to sell for so much. So just as much as the NES Classic did at launch, and where it, and where it will, it will be sold out so quick in very limited quantities, and then it's gonna go for high prices, for crazy prices, like how it was with the NES Classic at launch. So, rather than just buying the PlayStation Classic, I actually have uh, one uh, one thing to say here. You can actually buy a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, a Raspberry Pi, like, like uh, this right here. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is actually doesn't really look like this when you buy it. It actually is kind of a, a mini computer kind of thing. It's actually doesn't have a shell case when you buy it in, a, in its own, which means that you need to buy some separate compartments. Like, of course, this uh, Super Pi case here, which actually has a power button that, of course, the Raspberry Pi itself doesn't have. And also you need a micro SD card and where you put all your PlayStation 1 games in. You can of course make ISO images of all the PlayStation 1 games you own and then you put them on a micro SD card and you basically have a PlayStation Classic for yourself. The other way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like I just even the thing is that with with emulators and ROMs that emulators and ROMs tend to have problems a lot. Like I've played in, um, emulators and stuff and stuff in the past and stuff. But I stopped doing it because, like, it was just like they were having problems, having some freezing issues, having some graphical bugs and glitches and stuff like that, that, where I just decided that I don't really want these. I'd rather just play the actual games the way they are on the CD with no problems and stuff like that. And, and, and everyone, and people who know me on the channel know that I'm a huge PlayStation collector, even though you have no one has seen my collection yet and stuff, but I, I'll probably show it off someday. But I got tons of games that, like, I don't want to have to rebuy them just to play on this small system, and like, unless they could prove me wrong. But even if they do prove me wrong, I'm, I still don't want to get it because like, my original, I have my my big PS1 still works fine. My small PS1 still works fine, and so there really is no point in getting it. I mean, yeah, 
I, I, I can give them the benefit of making them small and stuff, but I just don't really, don't really see a point in getting this. So if people want to buy it, that's awesome. More power to you. But but I suggest you wait for the price drop down or like find it cheap somewhere or stuff because buying it for a hundred dollars is is, is kind of kind of robbery because like it's, that's a little too much money in my opinion. But that's just me though. You got anything else to say? Well. Actually, the PlayStation Classic will be actually kind of good if uh, it would actually include games like Tumba or Castlevania Symphony of Night on the... Because as we all know that uh, Tumba is a very expensive game and Symphony of the Night, in Paul territories at least, is also a very rare and expensive and they both of these games go for so much these days that uh, you probably might as well wait for a PlayStation Classic Mini that you can, you know, you can get and then play the games. It's kind of like, of course, with uh, Earthbound, one of those expensive SNES games that you can now play on a SNES Classic Mini. You know what I'm saying? Well, the th yeah, the thing is, considering how, you know, what's going on with Konami now, don't e I, I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't even count on, don't, don't count it on them putting on, uh, putting Symphony of the Night or Metal Gear Solid on there, on the PlayStation Classic of the way. Just because of, because, of, because of the company that they are now and stuff, it's not gonna. It, there's no chance it's gonna be on there. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't see it coming on there. And what? And, but, and another. Ch and another game that probably won't have a chance of uh, being on the PlayStation Classic is, of course, the classic racing game series Gran Turismo, which of course won't be on the PlayStation Classic Mini because, as we all know, it's a heavily licensed game, and it has licenses that have already been run out by this point, and they can never be renewed today. That's that's right. I mean, I just like. I mean, sure, they could. Sure, I mean, it's cool. You could you get the PlayStation One to palm your hand, but we kind of already had that already with the classic PlayStation, or with the small PlayStation One, with the mini screen you could use in the car and stuff. I just think buying this thing is a waste. Is a waste of money. I'm not gonna buy it. Even I'll just stick with my original PlayStation console and stuff like that. And even if they die out, you can just go buy buy a new one for a cheaper price or so. You don't you don't need to spend one hundred dollars and stuff. You can buy like like if you can buy them cheap somewhere like for twenty thirty bucks or so, and that's more well worth it if your PlayStation breaks down. So what? So I I don't have anything else to say. I'm just, I'm not gonna get it. How about you? Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, I'll just I'll just stick with with playing PlayStation the old school way, the best way in my opinion. And that's pretty much all we gotta say. This is this is Tony and Toby peacing out, and the Spider-Man may review it on its way, so stay stay tuned for that.